Hi everyone. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can move between percentages and rates and why you might want to do so. So in my first example, I'm going to take Microsoft 365 subscribers. And there's about 50 million of them in the world, including myself. And out of the global population, which is about 7.9 billion, so in millions, that's going to be 7,900. If I wanted to calculate the percentage of that, I'll take 50 divided by 7,900. That tells me that 0.63% of the world has an Office 365 subscription. But what if I wanted to convey that message a different way? I want to say out of 10,000 people, out of 100,000 people. What I can do is just take this percentage, multiply it by a population. So let's say 100,000. So what this tells me, if I convert this to a number, that tells me for 100,000 people, 633 of them will have a subscription to Office 365 or Microsoft 365. If I wanted to say out of a million, what I could do is multiply this by 10. Do the same down here. And now for every million people in the world, about 6,300 have a subscription. Now let's flip over and do it the other way, where we've got a large one in one in X number. And a good example is the Powerball. So the odds of winning the Powerball are one in 292 million. So to put that number down, 292 followed by one, two, three, four, five, six zeros. And just to make sure we've got it correct. So if I wanna convert this into a percentage, what I can do is take the inverse. So say one divided by this value. And if I convert this into a percentage, this is incredibly small. So as you can see, this is not the type of thing that would be easy to communicate to somebody in terms of percentage points, just because it is so small. So if you do have a really small percentage like this and you wanna switch back to a rate, you know, a one per X, I'm gonna call it, we can again take the inverse, one divided by the number. And let's flip this back. And I'm back to 292 million. So I start with 292 million. I took the inverse, one divided by that number, to get to the percentage. And I can again take the inverse to get back to a rate. Okay, so that's a quick way to move between one and the other. Now, let's say you wanted to, you you weren't sure whether you want to use a rate or a percentage or whether you should use 100,000, a million, 10,000, whatever the case may be. What you can do is set up a, a quick template to make it easy for you to decide which approach you want to use. So what I'm going to do is just create some headers here. One for percentage, one for one per X, per 10,000 people, per 100,000, and then per a million. And I looked up in Google a few different metrics. The first one is the percentage of dog owners in the world, which apparently is 6%. The number of people with green eyes, there's about 2% of them in the world. And the percentage of people with red hair. So this is between about 1% and 2%. So I'm going to say 1.5%. Oops. And so now, if I wanted to, obviously I could use these percentages, they're not terribly small, but if I wanted to convey this in a, in a slightly different way, what I can do is say one per X. So I could say, actually, I'm gonna start with the inverse, so one divided by this number, copy this down, and let's get rid of those decimal points. So now, instead of saying that 6% of, of the world owns a dog, I can say, one out of every 17 people owns a dog. You know, one out of every, every 50 people has green eyes. One out of every 67 people has red hair. Now, I can also convert this per 10,000, per 100,000, per a million. And this is as simple as just taking this percentage, multiplying it by 10,000. Again, copy this down. Doing the same for 100,000. Copy this down, and then per a million. Copy it down, and let's adjust the formatting. 
Okay, so now you can easily see the the different different options you have. So you know if you wanted to use sixty thousand, six thousand, or six hundred, then you know your your different populations that uh, you'd be referencing. And a quick way to to just double check that your percentages are right, you know, you can take this value divided by a million. You know, and those are the, the same percentages over there. So this is a quick way where, you know, you could like I said, set up a template where you can decide which which approach, whether you want to use a percentage, one per X, or per a certain population you want to use for your for your data. And so that's a quick overview of how to switch between rates and percentages. Thanks for watching.